Good morning. Oh, hello, hello. Comment, you know, this is Unicorn Zombie. I just woke up. It is eight something, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 8.30. I didn't have a good night's sleep, but it was sleep nonetheless, so I guess I can't complain too hard. I'm chewing some gum, so you're gonna hear that, so suck me. Every time I go on Twitch, I see, uh, not Twitch, what? Itch.io, I see this game. I have no idea what the fuck it is, so I decided I'd give it a try. Lately, I don't want to. Don't be a bitch, Simon. I don't know who Simon is, but just go over and I have no idea what that could fucking be. <laughs> I thought she's your friend. Oh, Andy. Mom said you'd help me with anything. <laughs> anything. Oh, get in trouble. See, my first um, voice this morning is... I think my gum up my mouth. It's talking to you guys, so... You have to deal with me and my voice waking up. Okay. We'll get in trouble. I love the eyes so far. Good morning, Ashley. I I still don't know what this is about. I don't know if it, I think it's horror related. Not gonna lie, I think this is gonna be something weird. As much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it is time for a little interlude. It is titled "Find Nutrients to Die to Not Die." Ready, set, go. I love this game. If I was nutrients, where would I be? This is a box or a freezer? The freezer is completely empty. Okay. It's, I think it said this game is about an hour long. <laughs> it's already been scavenged several times. It is utterly, it's truly and utterly exhausted of, as a food source. That's giving up too easy. What is that? A can of tomato. Yippee! Amazing, you should show your, your brother, okay? Bro, tomatoes. You show him the tomato can. Ta-da! I like my... Okay, I didn't think they were the same person. Look at that, the face on the sprite. Uh, ta-da. Uh, me, maybe me and Andrew, I, I, we can get along, because that's exactly the face I make every time I wake up. Not the reaction you were hoping for. Ahem. <sighs> Come on, Ashley. I just woke up. Ta-da! We're not eating that. Huh? No. That's the very last thing we have, Ashley. I think we should hold on to it a little longer. Thank God Andrew's a lot more easy to fucking read. <laughs> Quit your complaining. You're energetic enough to go rummaging through our trash. So clearly you're not dying yet. Huh? And how did you know I was? Because I hid it there away from you. Gasper. I live in a den of snakes. Uh, don't roll me up. You're making me hungry. Do you know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? No. Put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth. I will. I can see that your heart is set on this. Fine. Let's eat them and screw our future selves. That is a spirit. <laughs> Good day. Are you still alive in there? Yeah. Hello. If you won't make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. And I, and I don't bring food for the dead. <laughs> oh, I, I shot over there. You don't bring food. You don't bring it for the living either. Wait, wait, come back. What is this? God damn it. What is this place? I thought it was like a home for a second, but a warden. Sad. Ooh. Ooh, that's a bloody looking mess. Well, how is it? At this point, you could feed me a can of worms and I'd say it's the best thing I've ever had. Kiss ass. Like, mm. no, I'm saying that's how hungry I am. Oh, okay. It is in that moment that an o ominous audio assaults are your eardrums. Are you kidding me? The neighbor's at it again. Wanna go take a peek? Nope. But I'll come along if you do. Here, catch. Got balcony key. Why don't you just jump off together? Ooh! 
Oh, I thought it was a sandwich. Hmm. Can't really see squad from here. Contemplate if you should take a leap of faith towards the neighbor's balcony. It's only the fourth floor. Actually, don't you even think about it. Aw, uh, no fun. I like this little duo. Oh! The wooden plank. Okay, that should help. Oh. Hmm. Oh, demons from hell. Hear my plea. Oh, the unholy ones. Sorry, that, that voice took my throat in such, in such a way. It made me almost throw up. I've been wanting to do that a lot lately. I've been, uh, I've been basically starving myself for some reason. I'm just not ever hungry, so my stomach just growls like fucking crazy. You know, I, I don't care. I'm gonna read it. I come seek. I come seeking your advice. Holy shit, I'm gonna die. God damn it. What am I doing wrong? I can't do it. I keep wanting to throw up. I'm crying now. I thought that was perfect. I knew I should have killed that guy when I had the chance. Are you killer or delivery people? Fuck. <laughs> that was the most intense summoning I've ever been around. Give him fucking. Yeah. What do you make of that? Uh, what do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. Forget this. It is almost time to say, let us watch TV. <gasps> SpongeBob. Ah, oh, the remote is dead. Just push the button on the TV. Meh, what a pain. Fine, I'll fetch some batteries for you. I always have to do everything around here. Yeah, yeah, what well, was you? It is. <laughs> yeah, I love Andrew. What am I looking for? Batteries. I feel like they'd be in here. Fucking genius. Thank you kindly. Now praise me. Wow, amazing. You did such a bang up job. More. Oh, you haven't sent God's gift to humanity. How did life ever subsist in your absence? No one fetches batteries like you do. I stand in awe of your very existence. You sit in awe. You should sit too. It's starting. I love the little duo. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Oh, is that the warden? Today we all we share with you some joyous developments in regards to the tainted water situation. We're happy to announce that all apartments in which tainted water had been delivered have been secured. It has been three months since the first incident was discovered and the death toll is now at a comfy fifty three total. Oh, is that why we're confined? No biggie. Then the quarantine period for those who are at risk have been extended by another two weeks. A again? To our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusting, parasite-infested bodies far, far away from me. Sorry, it's thank you for your continuing consideration to the public safety. That's all for the day. Cheers. I'm going to bed. What if I have... You said... You decide to do the same. Instead of ruminating upon your misery, you decide to clean the house up a bit. Oh, fuck me. Is this is what I'm doing. Oh, wait. Go ahead and make sure I can't do the trash. Yawn. You're cleaning. What a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Come to think of it. Do we have any... Do we... Do we even have any... Detergent left? We just woke up. <laughs> oh, wait. What about that coat? That coat? No. Thank God it. Ooh, are you getting hungry, lass? I like the choke collar, it looks nice. You're feeling dizzy. You must be hunger. Uh oh. Damn it, Ashley, I told you not to overdo it. Good news. Good news once again. Some of you may have heard your loved ones that there's been supply shortages in the quarantine households. Well, bar, we please announce that all of that has been taken care of. It has. Oh, wait, it's not. It has? Does it look like I'm eating right now? On that note, we'd like to remind all of you not to enter contaminated apartments. No, your friends don't need any from anything from you. Everything is taken care of. 
Should you still feel the urge to help, the staff will be administrating bullets directly into your brain as a thank you. What? I hope that clears things up a bit. Moving on to our next story, a brand new art museum would be... Woo! Goes back to sleep. You, you're too tired to get the phone. Hello? Of course, what is it? A shift in tone of his voice just makes your ear strain. Okay. No, no. Go ahead. Someone's talking on the other end of the line, but you can't make out the words. They sound more and more upset as they they talk, though. Well, that's... I mean, I can't do anything about that. Or I can try talking to her, but... No. Or I mean, yes, but I don't... I don't no, I'm not hungry. I'm just... No, I... Can you let me talk? I've been there to that. The voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you still can't make out the words. <laughs> Always about you. About... You don't lay in Ashley and... Who? Who's lay? Wait. I've had the time to think. Just can't anymore. So that's it then. Well, all right, I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry. <laughs> Although I really don't see why I should be held accountable for it. <laughs> ah, bitch. Who was that? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Oh, she dumped you. Why is that? Why do you think? How should, how should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite infested homebody that's apparently perma quarantine? Or because she found someone new? It's been a few months, buddy. Or maybe she just didn't like you that much in the first place. Oh, poor Andrew. Whatever you say, Ashley. Yeah, it's not really nice for the heart. <laughs> Whatever. You pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep again. Now you've been out for who knows how long. <laughs> Someone from your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Hey, me too. People are yelling from their windows and about them. I need some help too. Please, please, I'm starving. Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. Color me surprised. They actually got a person some help. I figured they just let her die. Maybe she did die and she wasn't moving. As if they have their son running for a corpse. Then what do you suppose was her emergency? No idea. Nobody showed up when you fainted. What, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? Uh, I don't... Maybe she went into labor or something. Yeah, maybe. Then they bring me food if I got prep. Nope. Okay. Let me finish. How would you even get pregnant in here? Well... Well, we do have one charming fellow next door over my dead body. He seems a little bit off his rocker, so who knows? He might just, he just might end you. Forget this. <laughs> well, excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. That woman didn't look pregnant anyway. Oh, that's <laughs> wrong person. Whatever, it was just a thought. You'd like to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his damn business anyway. But you're too exhausted. Did I just, did I just collapse again? Oh. After you're sleeping for a few hours, maybe a few days, who knows? You're fully revitalized and bursting with energy. That doesn't sound healthy. Yeah, it just doesn't feel... Oh, <laughs> she doesn't feel like she's full of energy. Oh, you silly la lazy bone. He has unscrewed the lock and is simply to kick the door in or out, depending on your perspective. How many more times are you going to try that? It's clearly a bar from the other side. Wow. What else am I supposed to do? If you don't stop banging on that door, I won't bring you any food tonight. You won't either way. Says you. Delivery will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Yeah, that's right. Now you better stop bang, bang, banging on the door. Or next, it'll be me banging your head against the wall. Asshole. 
do you think do you think they'll really get the delivery today like i didn't fuck this up for us i did i unlikely though i guess we'll see talk about something i got nothing try so parasites it's been a few months are you feeling anything hunger you think something would have be happening to us by now but i haven't noticed anything that nurse never came back either like don't you want to mantra us Ugh, who cares me ashley i care well well don't care nor care that you care Whoa. aside from starving it's not so bad here come again aside from starving i like it here well i don't i want to jump off the balcony Ooh, i'll race you <laughs> oh, yeah, ha, ha, ha. laugh there. No, seriously, let's go. Let's not, though. I appreciate your eagerness to join me. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I love that. It's a race to our diffs. But it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. Excuse me? What? You don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together. With such force, our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush, never to be separated. Our remains would be so tangled that. So tangled up, they'd have to bury us together in the same coffin. Might as well, we've been confined together in this coffin of an apartment that feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked? No wonder your girlfriend dumped you. If those are your plans for romance. Hey, not romance. I said romantic. You're not the same. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means something is. Oh, I didn't realize the music started playing. Oh, yeah, I, I was like, what? <laughs> I feel like you should check up on that. I'm surprised he hasn't noticed. Are we about to see the goods? My lord, you've come. And you're uh, a little smaller than I imagined. Ah, I love it. It's better than I imagined. That's all I meant. Oh, um, I don't have much to give right now, but if you help me get out of here, I'll get any, I can give you anything you wish. Is that not good enough? As you wish, human. He's dead. My lord, thank you. Thank you. Huh? Darkness causes your vision and you cannot see what happens. What is happening? By the time your vision returns, the entity has vanished. On the ground lay the lifeless body of the cultist. <laughs> you know, I forgot to them this might be, not be normal, but in a video game, I kind of just like hedge my bets on what's normal to them. So, uh, am I already, already delirious or did you see that too? Do we, uh, do you want to check on them? Well, at the very least, I want to turn off that CD player. That's what you're concerned about? I'm not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. You make it sound like we're going to die any day now. Well, aren't we? Well, I'm not. There's got to be something this guy has to do that we can eat. Ooh, burglary time. Shut up. Let's get in there. In the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Oh. I don't know. I kind of like this. So I might do at least one more episode. It's only an hour long, so. I've been going for about 30 minutes. Holy shit. So, basically almost done. <laughs> So I might finish it up in the next episode. I have some more Oblivion and I'm still working on another project. So those are you know, in the works too. Um, I'm still not 100%, but I'm feeling a lot better. You know, you, you get used to this feeling of, um, you know, you, you know, anyway, uh, what should I say? Mm, I hope you have a lovely day and I love you. I hope you have a lovely day and I love you. There. How about that? How about that? You see I come in some cinnamon toast can action? <laughs> See you guys. Peace.